Touch it. Poke it. I don't know why you always have to touch something. Th bad things always happen when you touch things in this game, man. Uh-oh. You touch, you get touched. Oh, bad touch. Bad touch. See, this is what happens, man. You touch enough things, one day the thing's gonna touch you back. All right, here we are in the sanctuary garden. All right, well, I don't even know where to start because this is, this is, this is not fun. Right, it sounds like you're, there's a fucking motorcycle in my roof because he's still drilling. I don't know what he's doing up there, but he's doing something. Once we go through this door, there's like immediately a boss fight. So before you can even go into the DLC itself, there's a boss literally guarding it. So as DLC is not play, it's immediately like, well, if you want to play the actual DLC and explore and get the fun items, well, you're, we're going to have to test you with uh, something not very fun and you're going to get fucked a billion times. So here we go. Yep, it's a Chimera thing with a scorpion. Ow. Okay, I forgot he could do that. Right. Um, whoa, what, what was that? How much damage do I do? It would help if I, you know, actually fucking, you know, landed a hit on his body. Uh oh, um, stop, 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 stop. Let me just drink this. Ow, you didn't let me drink. Kind of rude, man. All right, I do a decent amount of damage, but the problem is I actually have to get hits and not get hit myself too many times. All right, I need to familiarize myself with his attacks again. He seems to have like a weird plunging attacks with the water. And a lightning attack at range. Oh, he's flying. He's flying and shooting lightning at me. All right. All right. Poise, I guess. And he, what the hell? Whoa, and a weird ramming attack. And he'll probably try to impale me with that little scorpion tail at one point. And what the, the, the lion? Of course, he you know, tried to scratch me. He is a lion. Uh, stop. Dude, 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 dude. Once again, by the way, I've never fought these guys without a shield before, so... I have to actually learn how to dodge them, like, you know, not a casual. How am I supposed to dodge that? He just keeps going in. If I dodge to the right, I get hit. If I dodge backwards, he just steps forward and... What? He just jumped on my head and fucked me. What? Uh-oh, um, dude, excuse me while I chug. Oh, fuck. You're gonna give me a concussion, man. Not cool. What happened to my, what happened to my fast rolling? Why am I not fast rolling? I'm not wearing the ring. I forgot to put that back on. Excuse me? Wait one second, sir. Ah, sir. I said you could wait one second. You didn't do that. Well, I got stunned by that. Or right, so that attack only stuns me. Good to know. Yeah, I do decent damage, but I have to actually get hits and not, you know, fuck up like I'm doing all the time. Oh, rapid fire. Never mind. He's pulling out some new shit. I was about to say, I think I have him, have him in the know now. I think I know what his deal is, but no. Now he's doing rapid fire fucking electric attacks. Okay. Whoa, whoa, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? You just, you hit me the moment I come out of my roll. Off, Vincent, Vincent, on, off. I know how to speak. Ow, dude, you're gonna kill me when I'm having my speech impediment right now? I should have brought more S's for this. I'm definitely gonna need more. Run in for a hit. All right, yeah, only go in for the hit when he does a long wind-up attack that takes a while to recover from. That's a good point. Yeah, see, I'm doing a lot of damage. I've only hit him like a few times. Almost half his health's gone, but ah, I have to, have to actually, you know, get the hits in at safe times and not get fucked myself. No, 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 he's doing the rapid fire shit again. What are you, a Gatling laser, man? Stop that. You're not no Gatling laser. Oh, and you're not a fucking bull, so do not brand me like one. Ow, okay. That would have been a good opportunity to hit him if I, you know, actually dodged, which I didn't do. This was a bad time to drink Estes. Ow, it's fine. Doesn't do much damage by itself. Oh, but it stays on the ground, of course, because we're kind of on water. Not fair, I can't fly. Oh, he's gonna stun me, and now he's gonna shoot me. I'm not getting many opportunities to, oh, that's good right there. Well, oh, he's gonna get me, oh, well, that's not good. Um, do I have that? Of course I don't have that on my person. It would be good if I did, but I don't. It's okay, that's only poison, it does not that much damage, so... And we're out of Estus now. We did pretty good, I guess, for... Ow! A guy with no shield, and he was kind of a noob. Remember, if they stay on the ground, so do not return to where he shot at. I'm dead. The poison's gonna kill me. Or he's gonna kill me. Or he's gonna kill me, like he just, you know, did right there. I'm very bad at speaking. What are you shooting at? 
Why do enemies do this? Like when you die, they just shoot some random thing in some random direction, absolutely nowhere. I should probably kindle this bonfire a few times. That should be enough Estus. I have him at least a little bit figured out now. So we should be fine. We, have to, we just have to be a little bit more patient and a little bit more observance. We only should go in for hits when I know I can get hits. Cause that's kind of a theme in this DLC. All the bosses are super, super aggressive and you need to find every single window that you can to get some damage in. Because if you get too impatient and try to go in for hits when you probably shouldn't, you're just gonna get fucked. And stay back by the way, cause you do not want to get comboed by that thing. Kinda hard to dodge. I think, I think the thing is just to stay out, up, you know, out of range and uh, dodge. You know, like you're supposed to. That's just his thing that stuns you, right? Uh, if I was closer, I could have got some hits in. Whoa, 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 stop. All right, uh, he's doing that again. Do not walk where he shot because you'll get hit by. Whoa, he's trying to jump on my head. I'll stab you in the butt for that. Oh, what the. I forgot to put this on. I'm so dumb. How am I alive? I'm literally just walking backwards and somehow I'm still alive. Or can I just out of the app? Dude, he doesn't give you much, you know, opportunity to heal either. Can I pop this off real fast, please? Oh, what was that? What was that? What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know what that was, but he looked really dangerous. The bosses also don't give you much opportunity to heal in this either. So, yeah, you don't want to be getting hits like I am because I'm really dumb. Why did I think that was a good time to heal? Am I just really stupid? The answer is yes. Come at me. What are you doing? That looks dangerous, like at least a little bit. Can I chop off his tail? I don't know if that's a thing you can do. I uh, why do I never dodge when he does that? Why do not just sit there and just let him do that to me? All right, Ooh, that's good opportunity to go in, get some no hits in. Yep, good opportunity to go in and get fucking zero damage because you're absolutely stupid. All right, there we go. Dude, you need to be like a little bit closer. Whoa, that's the attack that poisons you, be careful. All right, don't stay too far out of range or he'll do some flying shit or some lightning shooting like that. I think that's, yeah, that's the rapid fire. We're fine. Watch when you're too close. Oh, we jumped on, uh, fuck, what the? Ninja, lion, chimera, scorpion, man. I was too close, too dumb, and not fun. Oh, you can chop off his tail and get some kind of uh, weapon. Okay. No, keep, no, keep locked on. Or right, do not heal. This might be a bad time to do that. Rapid fire. All right, there we go. Oh, thought that was good because he was cooling down from his, his volley of electricity. You do not want to run out of stamina when you're fighting these bosses. Oh, he's doing the the combo. Do not try to get hit in when he's doing that. Only get hits in when he charges. That's a good opportunity to get some hits in. Two hits. Do not get greedy. Only get the hits you know you can get without getting punished. Oh, right, well, back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Not too far though, you want to stay in range to be able to, oh. oh, he doesn't have his tail anymore. It means, oh, he can still kick though. All right, uh, back up. All right, a few more hits and he's dead. Careful. All right, I think I need to heal. I want to be more than half. This was a bad time to heal. Yes, it was. Ow. All right, I want to be closer for this. I don't know why I can think, I think I can hit his wings. You can't, so I don't think they have any hit boxes. Oh, good one. Wait, did he dodged? Okay. We got this in the bag as long as we do not muffin it up, which we almost did by cornering, our, cornering, cornering ourselves in a wall. Do I have fucking Tourette's or something? What's wrong with me today? I can't speak for shit. No. Well, oh, almost fucked that up. All right, one more hit and he should be dead. All right, we got this. And he's dead. Boink! Right in the booty. That's right, our booty. I mean, hit booty. Hit booty got pulped. All right, drops a decent amount of souls. It's not even enough to level up anymore. Well, I guess it is now because I picked up those souls. Okay. Dang, I had a lot more souls than I thought I did. I should probably should have picked it up because I could have died and lost it all. That was only the beginning of the hell we're going to face throughout this DLC because this place is not fun. But we managed to get through it on our second try, which is kind of unbelievable. But you know what? We managed to conquer it by actually using our brain and doing what we're supposed to do. And now that we cleared that, we can use this bonfire ahead before the actual proper area. There's also some mushroom person here. I was going to call her a lady, but I don't think mushrooms have gender. 
Why are all these like armless statues just here? They kind of look sad. Look, they look like, look like they have little sad faces. Don't be sad. Cheer up, man. I mean, you're an armless statue and you're just stuck here standing at this staring at this bonfire. But come on, man. Cheer up. I don't think this guy can cheer up. He kind of uh, lost his head. And not, and not in, you know, a metaphorical kind of way. Like, you know, he didn't, you know, get really mad. I mean, he literally lost his head. He could be anywhere. This really unsettles me because most of the mushrooms in this game have arms. And seeing one without arms is kind of weird. I mean, it's normal, but now it's just weird, sort of. I don't know. What do you even do again? I think you're a shop, right? Oh, you sell magic. I don't care. You sell anything else? Ooh, they sell repair powder. Oh, this is where you get the invisibility uh, magic this thing. Well, these are some interesting. Oh, you also get the thing that turns you into objects. So you got all the troll stuff here. You can hide your weapon? What? Okay, so this, this mushroom just sells a bunch of troll stuff. You can cast blinding light. You can turn yourself into objects or other enemies. You can hide your weapon and your body. And this is just very trolly. What does this use? Uh, I think it uses miracles? Question mark? I don't know. I don't care. I don't use magic because it's for plebs. We're definitely going to need to kindle this bonfire. We're going to have to kindle this to pretty much max just immediately. Let's just get that out of the way. Kindle. Those things that people read books on. Do people even use Kindles anymore? I think they do. In fact, I think I have one, but I think it's like a, a stupid one. It's just one of those ones that literally just reads books and that's it. You can't play YouTube videos on it because it can only fucking display black and white colors. It's like, why? Who buys a Kindle to read books? Not normal people, that's who. If you want to read books, I say read the authentic printed material. Reading books online bores me. Kids these days and their their fancy tablets to read their their fancy books. I appreciate the the classics, you know. So basically, we're in a area that's in the base game, but like a thousand years in the past or something. So we traveled back in time. Don't ask how. We just did. And here we are in the royal wood, and we have these weird scarecrow guys who really want to stab us for some reason. Oh, they they die in one hits. I mean, not this guy. This guy's special for some reason. I forgot to level up. I probably want to do that because I have a lot of souls right now I could be using for leveling up purposes. Boss souls are only used for making weapons, so... I can't imagine what the that Chimera guy would have as a weapon. I don't think it would be anything I care about, so I should probably just pop it, right? Fuck a bucket. Don't do that. That sounds nasty. My damage is absolutely outrageous right now. How's my weapon scaling, by the way? I think that's the maximum for this. Scaling typically doesn't go higher than B or A for most weapons, I think. Most of the weapons that get an S for their scaling are usually just trash weapons that are basically not even weapons. You can upgrade the scaling by upgrading the weapon itself. But maybe I'll get to like scaling of A before I, you know, when I finish upgrading it. Who knows? I have to find some chunks first. There might be some chunks laying around this forest. Like I said, this is a DLC area, so... It wouldn't make sense if there'd be some Titanite chunks just laying around somewhere, right? I mean, I want to kind of fully upgrade my weapon very, very soon. Because we're getting close to a uh, quite a force of nature. Quite, quite the force. And I gonna, I'm gonna, i going to want to be dealing as much damage as I possibly can. What the fuck? I forgot you guys are here. So it's not just gonna be me stabbing a billion scarecrows and that's just gonna be the entire, uh, the entire area. No, um, there's also some, uh, giant guys with giant hammers and shields. Okay. Whoa, 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 calm down. Whoa, that's a big one. Hello, dude. Be gone. Ah, oh, hammer. Ah, it's my back of my head. I'm gonna have to sue you for giving me bodily damages to my big brain, man. You can't just do that to a man like that. Well, you're way faster than the giants I've met. Well, oh! Bruh, I'm doing no damage. And he has some, some bullshit attacks. Why is that rock so just lit up, man? Why is there like a spotlight on that rock? Is that a special rock? When's the last time I repaired my sword, by the way? I think it's been quite a while. This is a bad idea. Ow. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Or be patient. Be patient. Like the wind. 
I don't know what that means. I'm just trying to sound deep and insightful, but I'm not. This is a good time to dodge. Goodbye. Right, they don't even drop that many souls, and he didn't even drop an item. If anyone, if anyone would drop Titanite Chucks, it'd probably be these guys, though. This place is weird, man. Why is there just living scarecrows walking around and trying to stab me, and weird giant men with giant hammers trying to pound me? I thought these were items, but they're just flowers. Man, I hate these flowers, man. They're so trolly. You think they're items, but no, they're not. Whoa, hello. Stop. Can I parry them? I don't think you can. What is he doing? Let me, you know, stab him in the back, I guess. I don't know the exact path I want to go, because I don't know, I don't remember where any good items are on this place. Now, that guy ran away from me for some reason. I mean, he probably should. He probably saw what I did to his friends over there. He like, oh, oh, I freaking, I knew it. I knew I was going to get ambushed. I felt like something like that was going to happen. Go away. Are you kidding me? I'm just a little slither of health from killing them one stab. There's a lot of guys here. Do not get under, oh. I ran out of stamina so I couldn't dodge. Do not get overwhelmed here. Play some good crowd control and he should be fine. The guy dropped something when he dropped. Hey, 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 hey. What'd that tree do to you, man? That's what, this guy's not in one with nature despite, you know, being a walking grass man. Why is the sky orange? Why is there scarecrows trying to murder me? What is this place? Hello, um, I don't, I don't particularly want to fight you. I don't think you care about what I want at the end of the day, do you? Because you don't, you're not considerate of other people's feelings, are you, sir? Whoa, 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 that's a hammer. Poise. Ow, poise didn't really work out that time. Duh! Bruh. Well, all he cares about is fucking cold, hard facts. And the cold, hard facts were that there was a hammer through my fucking skull, and I was dead. Uh, I'm gonna have so much fun stabbing all these scarecrows to death for the next hour. Hey, hello. Nice, nice stab there, buddy. You totally hit me. Is there any possible way I can make it so that we can be chill, right? Ah, you bitch. You are, you're actually a bitch. Like, someone should write bitch on your forehead because that, that is your name, and people need to know it. Goodbye. I still need to test out if you can parry this guy. You probably, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, with a, a large amount of certainty, you probably cannot parry the guys with the giant hammer. Maybe I can just ignore these guys. You know what they say, if there's a problem, the best way to solve it is to ignore it. Oh, that's a lot of problems over there, so. I think the solution is to continue ignoring the problems. That will not just make more problems add up onto each other. No. Oh, there's another problem. I've seemed to run into a dead end. No, I don't think you can parry them, unfortunately. Of course you can't, because that would be having too much fun, wouldn't it? I think we need to cross like a bridge. Like, yeah, right there. That's where we need to go, I think. Well, that's. I think that's actually an item. It might be something good, so I'm going to go fuck with that, even though it's probably a bad idea. Don't mind me. I just want this item. I don't want to get a hammer in the back of my head, but you don't care. Just real fast. Um, oh, this is not worth it. Whoa! Okay, your tracking is cool. Love that. Excuse me. Let me drink my OJ. No, do not try to shove your... Whoa, hello. Um, hi. That's the boss, I think. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Let's be chill. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, please go away. Let me pass. Do not make me pay a toll right now. I'm kind of... Too much in a rush to pay a toll right now on your little bridge there, dragon. Do dragons give tolls? I think that's trolls, not dragons. Totally different thing. Hello. Wait, you might have chunks. Get back here. Give me your chunks. Chunks? Oh, not chunks. That's not stonks at all. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Can I just have a moment of peace? What the fuck's with all this, this blue stuff on the ground? I can't have it. What do you do? You have hedge clippers now. I am not a hedge, so do not clip me. Can I get over here? I bet he can't. Uh, safety. Aha. You probably can't get over this chasm. It means I'm probably safe. Where is he going? He's probably going to find, try to find the long way around if he can. Everything's good. That was a dragon. I'm pretty sure that was the boss I was talking about. You know, it's optional. Whoa, careful. Not just the helmets, uh, it's just their armor I do not really care about in the slightest. I think I'm heading in the right direction, though. That's a th that's a thought I think is true. Eh, you... Mm. Uh-oh. Uh, I think he's... 
Oh, 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 I'm thinking, I think you found a way around. Dude, you're a fucking persistent. You went around the complete long way just to get to me. This, you can't fault this man for his persistence. I mean, I can, because he's kind of an asshole. Never mind, he gave up because he knew he shouldn't mess with me and my evasion skills. Our Elizabeth Mushroom. I think that's like a powerful healing item, if I remember correctly. Heals you by like a lot, but over time. Um, I think we have to go back to this side to get where we need to go. And hopefully there will be no one trying to murder me on the other side. I think, I think we're almost to where we're supposed to be. Oh, there's a few more scarecrows just wandering about. What's with the big ol'? You know, I'm not gonna ask questions. You guys have your, your big giant blue pits of, uh, of darkness and, uh, not good. It looks like death, so, uh... I'm not gonna ask. Don't ask another man who has dark pit of, pit of death. I don't. They don't ask me about my dark pit of death. Mostly because I don't have one. But still. Whoa, whoa! I am not a hedge. We've been over this. Whoa! Ow! Look at them. They're they're trimming up the trees, man. Just keeping this forest beautiful. They're just trying to kill me because they think they think I'm gonna ruin their beautiful forest. Is that what it is? Well, dude, I am one with nature. Ignore the fact that I literally said, like, near the beginning of this episode that I, uh, am more powerful than nature and I scoff at nature because I am better than it. Those were taken out of context, all right? You know what? I'm gonna stab you before you try to stab me because that's just the kind of man I am. Hey! I'm not a hedge. How many times do I have to state this? Oh, money! That's a lot of guys. I don't. I don't, like, I at all want to... Um, let's just make a run for it. It'll be fine. It's not like we, every single time we try to run in front of these guys, we get hit in the back of the head. Ooh. Do, 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 do. I don't care about that. That looks fun, but I don't care. We Go, 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 go. Ha, ha. It's fine. Everything's fine. How do we open up the shortcut, though? I want to do that before anything else. I'm pretty sure if I just do this... I'm pretty sure that opens up the shortcut. Actually, I want to probably make sure that there's not like a lock gate or something on the other side. All right, um... Yeah, I think this is okay. Uh, just another piece of that armor I don't care about. It's way too heavy, and I'm okay with the armor I have right now. It's doing me good. Hasn't done me wrong yet. I think I'm on the far side of the place I didn't go through before. Okay. Okay, we made it. It didn't take as long as I thought it would, but we did run into some problems. It's fine. We, we solved those problems by running away from them. You know how I solved m most of my problems. Oh, uh, I forgot you were here. Who are you? Oh, I can buy Hormor Bones from here. I want to do that because I did complain earlier about running out of those like way too fast. I think this is the path to the, the boss. The optional boss from before that I, I was talking about. Yeah, somehow I never noticed this was here in my uh, first like Two playthroughs somehow. I don't know how, but I didn't notice. All right, but now that we're done with that, oh boy, let's just get this out of the way. We're if we are not doing this first try, that's a thing that's not going to happen. We are not doing this 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 in the first ten tries. We're not doing this in the first twenty tries. One of the most infamous bosses ever, Ornstein and Smo are overhyped for their infamy. This guy, no. No, no, no. This is gonna be at least an entire episode next time. So, I wanna save that for next time and mentally prepare myself for the, the tribulation I'm about to go through right now because this, oh boy. I don't even know what I'm gonna do, man. And I beat him every other time I did this with a shield. So I'm gonna have to dodge every single one of his bullshit attacks perfectly with no shield, and managed to kill him with his enormous amounts of health and very, very, very small windows of attack. And if you get hit too many times in this fight, it's almost impossible to find a good moment to heal. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls. We finally managed to start the DLC and start to make some progress in here. I don't even know why we're here. We don't even want any items from here. We're just doing it for gl glory's sakes more than anything else, honestly. In the next one, it is time for the first real hard trial of this DLC. And arguably the hardest boss in this entire game. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.